everybody, what is up? It's Eddie Nenny and welcome to episode 6 and the episode that you probably will be waiting on, the transfer window. This is all down to your guys' suggestions here. Must thank you to everybody that has suggested players, potentially try and bring in. We will be making a lot of moves in this transfer window, try and strengthen our sides. We look to stay in the division and also potentially, you know, just try and finish mid-table, which is where we are at the moment. Uh, obviously, we've got a long way to go. So, must thank you to your guys' suggestions. I do look to try and finish off... January today, but if any guys do any suggestions for next season and beyond, please do make sure to put them in the comments. I do plan. I don't want to make too many signings this trans window, but I definitely do plan to make at least a couple, you know, or a few. I plan to bring in at least three, maximum four players. I just don't want to bring in, you know, like seven. You know, new signings. Uh, but anyway, we kick off today with our first game against Aston Villa in the Premier League. Going to be a difficult game. Let's take them on. Come on, Leicester City. Let's take on Villa. A decent, you know, rotated team for this game in terms of after the game against Man City. Chris Jensen returns back to the side after getting red carded against Liverpool. So he was spending for the last game. Also, uh, Chowdhury is replaced by Ricardo Pereira, who starts at the right back position. Uh, Edward continues staying up top. McAteer comes in uh, to replace Fatua. And so does Declan Dover Reed come in as well to replace AU. Uh, and El Cajunas comes in to replace Bonanate. But anyway, Leicester City against Villa. Going to be a difficult game against Villa. Champions League club. Let's take them on. Oh, Edward does so well. It's Edward. Great chance here for Leicester. Edward! What a finish! Leicester lead against Villa. And it's the Palace Loney which gets the goal. 1 0 Leicester City. What a start. Oh, McAteer. I've been so impressed with McAteer since coming in to replace, you know, on the left side. He's done so well. McAteer just brilliantly to cut in. Ting it up. El Cajunas. Ah, oh, shot just wide. Looking around the ball nicely. Chance to Villa. Barkley finds Watkins who turns and shoots straight out of Manson. Been not the most insane in game so far. Apart from the goal, not much has happened. That was probably Villa's best chance of the game. Half time, 1 0 Leicester. El Cajunas gets away with it. El Cajunas does really well. El Cajunas for 2 0. Shot across goal. Good save, Emmy. Chance of Villa. Bailey somehow gets out of Vestergaard and shoots just wide. Villa asserting dominance. So chance here maybe for Villa. Try and tee the ball up. Oh, that's a bad challenge there. And Ramsey. It's going to be a free kick here for Villa. Not too far out. Indeedy the substitute coming onto the pitch and asserting his dominance onto the game. And a free kick here to Villa in a potential area. It's Watkins who goes for it. And that had power. And for Chance for Villa. Oh, Fred the ball through and Villa almost level and should be Leon Bailey. What a chance. And that's it. Leicester City pick up a huge win away to Aston Villa. Right. What a victory. Is it deserved? Mm, not really. I think a point would have been fair, but what a phenomenal result. 1 0 Leicester full time. Let's go. The first transfer of many. First one, Patterson Dakar. Not selling him. I, d I don't want to sell Dakar. I like him. Good substitute uh, option. Yeah, he's good. But West Ham? No. We have quite a few transfers here. One for Iverson, which is currently agreeing a deal with uh, Bashira of the Turkish League. Vestergaard transfer offers, even though I do quite like the transfers from Yannick Vestergaard, especially from Turkey. I could definitely see that happening. But for me, this season, he's planning to stay. And Sumire tried for offer from Spurs as well, which I'm going to reject too. I would normally play the FA Cup, uh, but it's against Villa again away from home. So I'm just going to quick sim it, see what happens. And we... Villa get their revenge. 3-1 defeat. Watkins, Digne and Digne. Not great. <laughs> First signing through the door of January. And it's a big one. 
Campaz, his name is, a Colombian left midfielder, is coming to the club. First team quality on the left side is what we need to replace the departure of Stefan Mavidi. Currently five foot six, the young, tricky Colombian man with a four star weak foot and four star skill moves as well. Really excited to get Bauer, a man that plays on the left side, left footed as well. Really excited what he's going to be about, Campaz. I feel like. You know, he joins the club as one of our highest rated players. Well, at 77 overall. Really excited about his move. Campaz, welcome to Leicester City. Let's give it the season here. Away at uh, home, sorry, to Crystal Palace. Uh, Campaz is on the bench, ready to make his debut. I'm so excited to use him, man, when we get the opportunity. But we are without him for today. And we're going to take on Crystal Palace. Uh, going to be a difficult game. Um, I've just realised something actually, I keep making this mistake, I keep starting players which aren't meant to start, and Edward being one of them, Edward is a low knee, he should not be playing, so we're going to bring on Jamie Vardy to replace him, and literally, as soon as the ball goes out of play, Vardy will come on to replace Edward, so yeah, big mistake there really, great start. Oh, they're going to try to make, oh, it falls straight to Saar and Palace leads! So unlucky right there. As they thread a ball pass, we intercept it, but the pass just too powerful. And our midfielder couldn't control it. It fell to Ismail Desar. And Palace lead 1 0 against Leicester. Half time. 1 0 Palace. And unfortunately uh, for us. Oh no, is that Chet Elka who now said originally have a knock, but it looks like he hasn't got now. But we are going to sub him off anyway. Brunanate is going to go in the middle. And a debut for Campaz. Out on the left, excited to what he's going to be about. Come on, Leicester. We need to respond. Free kick on the left side. Campas wins us another set piece. Ball whipped in. It's not the worst delivery, but I'd feel a bit more height on it. Campas now going for on the left side. Full of energy. Campas sticks the ball up and it's heads the way. Falls out to Sumeray. You know what? We're going to try this. Sumeray shot blocked and heads away. Oh, chance to win the ball back. We need an option, though. Fatawa does brilliantly and shot wide. Campaz doing really well. Taking on his man. It's Campaz. Oh, he does so well, Campaz. That's the reason why I brought him. He does so well. Just weave and move in between them Palace men. And Munoz forced to hack him down. It's a yellow card, so we got a free kick here on the edge of the box. I don't think we've really got a massive set-piece taker, but we are going to try our best here with Fatua. This would be some goal to get us level. Fatua, can he get it up and over the wall? He can! And it just goes over the bar. Close. Oh, Fatua wins the ball back. Digs the ball in. Vardy, it's in! Leicester level! He might be aged and decreasing in overall, but he has still got it. Leicester a level. 1-1. One, one. Jamie Vardy. Palace coming forward here. Shot from distance wide. Accepted. Oh, no. We give it away. We give it away. Chance for Palace. Mateta into Saar. Is he onside? And he is. Oh, that's all down to my own doing. Palace win it at the death. Ismail Lazar. 2-1 Palace. That is utterly frustrating. Three points. A point given away, sorry. 2-1 Palace. More transfer offers. Not from Vestergaard from Wolves. I reject it. Love offer for Yannick Vestergaard. And uh, now Iverson. Unfortunately, the deal fell through with Turkey. And now he's uh, negotiating for Portuguese club. Game of the episode. Fulham in the Premier League. Let's get into it. Let's take on Fulham. Come on, Leicester City. And see, oh, Patterson Dacker does beautifully. And Leicester City are in front against Fulham. Patterson Dacker, 1 0 Leicester. Oh, no chance of a Fulham. Shot from distance, and it's in. Edge of the box. Adley with the goal. Fulham a level, 1 1. Chance here now, Patterson Dacker. Oh my days, Patterson Dacker. It's the Dacker show him. It's oh, just wide, just so well. But anyway, that should be that. Should be half time now. 1 1 team Leicester and Fulham. 
Uh, yeah, I, I feel like this game here, this year is a lot about, um, you know, just keeping the ball, you know, and not actually, uh, and not creating much with it. So, anyway, half time, 1 1. Oh, it's in! How has that squirmed its way through? I thought we could have cleared that one. Follow him in front, 2 1. Chance here for last. Oh, pass and Daka. Oh, I try to pull the trigger, but it's a really good tackle. Daka for 2 2. What a stop from Leno. Should be 2 2. Oh, what a ball over the top. Oh, Adley almost had his hat trick. At fair play, Fulham win 2 1. They deserve it. Frustrating that us going in front, Fulham level, and then you know us to uh, go two on behind. Frustrating result. Information: Daniel Iverson has left the club. He'll be leaving at the end of the season. To be honest with you, I kind of wish he left now. But um, yes, yeah, so we are planning now to get into our next game against Spurs. But it looks like we've got a few offers here to deal with. Uh, another offer, Yannick Vest. God, I do like that offer with a back shape, but I want to keep mid just for now. And I turn to for James Justin, which I'm going to reject. Final game of the episode here is going to come up against Spurs. Going to be a difficult game, obviously, away from home. It won't be the final bit of the episode, because we've got deadline day to get to, which I do plan to make a couple more additions, but we'll see, we'll see. I kind of am hoping that we get a few players out before, you know, bringing new players. But anyway, Spurs away. Not looking forward to this, but let's see what we can do. Come on, Leicester. Chance for Spurs. Solanke. Straight out of Manson. Campas. This has been the story of his career. So Fod's going for Leicester. He's been hacked down by Kulaveski. Free kick to Leicester. Oh, it's happened again. Oh. It's happened again. Campas has been hacked down this time by James Madison. And it's a yellow card. <laughs> Oh, Chan Solanke. 1 0 Spurs, 20 minutes gone. Oh, no chance here, maybe. Playing around the ball nicely here, Leicester. Oh, Solanke almost wiggled his way through, but it's a good effort saved. Oh, no chance, Madison. Lovely football. Oh! Oh! I've had a mare. Solanke makes it two, but not really. <laughs> and Manson kicks it off Solanke. Oh, that is a shocker. What a challenge there from Madison El Cajunas. He's already been booked, James Madison, if I'm not wrong. And the former Leicester man, red carded. Okay, corner kick. Fatua, can he get a ball in? Yes, he can. Vestergaard! Did that cross the line? It's cleared off the line again. Oh, my days. How have we not scored there? And that looks like it's probably going to be half time. Actually, maybe one last chance. Edward, a great chance here for Leicester. Great stop. Campas, debut goal. Well, no, not a debut goal, sorry. 2-1. <laughs> we pull one back. Campas, let's go. The new signing gets his first goal for Leicester. And that is well and truly game on. 2-1 Spurs. King Campaz just running. Campaz doing so well. Oh, yes, Campaz. Come on, Campaz. His stamina is not the greatest, but he's still trying to go all the way. He needs somebody with him now. He's just going to float a ball into Edward. Easy there for Vicario. With the ball in the near post. Header from Solanke. Hermanson comes out and completely misses the ball. 3 1 Spurs. Hat trick for Solanke. Oh, no chance for Solanke. He gets a fourth. This is just like the Arsenal game. 4-1 Spurs. Full time. 4-1 Spurs. Let's get into deadline day. New signing. And you can probably notice by the back of him, it is Tahith Chong. We decided to bring him from Luton Town to be his Premier League. We need another playmaker into the side. Only 25 years of age. Plenty and plenty and plenty 
you know, of, uh, you know, pace and technical ability and plenty of experience as well, despite being that young age. Played for Birmingham, Manchester United, playing the area of I believe with Feyenoid, I want to say. But welcome, Steve Chong, to Leicester City. A done deal. Will Alves departs the club on loan to Luton Town of the Championship. I think a really good move for Will Alves, and hopefully he smashes it there. A departure here. Golding leaves the club to go on loan to Royal Antwerp in Belgium. Good move for him. End of deadline day and the end of the transfer window. Must thank you to everybody that has put this uh, career mode so far. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe. Unfortunately, a few deals did break down towards the end. Danny Water, Watford and uh, Luke Thomas, you know, on loan. Uh, try and loan him out for the end of the season. But anyway, let's go and see where we end in the league. We dropped down to 14th. So we are slowly, go, uh, you know, kind of going into a bit of a relegation scrap. But then again, we still are 10 points clear, you know, ahead of Bournemouth. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day and see you all in the next episode. Take care. Much love.